Hi, I'm Billy of the Fuji guys, and today we're going to take a look at Fujifilm's new Instax Share Smartphone Printer. This is a printer that uses Fujifilm's Instax Mini Film and allows you to take prints or, or make prints from images stored on your smartphone or smart device, whether you're using an iOS device or you're using an Android device. There is an app that you would have to uh, download called the Instance, Instance, Instax Share app that allows you to uh, directly connect to this. Wi-Fi printer. Uh, so let's take a look at the contents of the uh, Instax Share itself. Again, depending on the market that you purchase the pro this product from, the packaging may be slightly different, but the content itself will remain exactly the same. So opening up the box itself, uh, the first thing that you'll definitely see, of course, is uh, the instruction manuals and uh, sort of a quick start guide on how to get the camera up and running for the very first time in various languages, okay? Uh, if you are not looking at the manual, one thing you need to note is that there is a password to connect to the printer for the very first time, and that, that default password is 1111. So it's four digit number, again, all ones, okay? Now let's take a look at the uh, actual contents of the box. You got the Smartphone, uh, so the Instax Share printer itself. And of course, there should be uh, a couple of batteries. So this device actually operates on uh, basically two CR2 batteries. Uh, the batteries are available, of course, uh, you know, uh, in most uh, countries. And of course, uh, well, actually widely available in, in most photographic uh, photo specialty stores. Um, there is an option, of course, on this printer for an AC adapter. It uses a 5-volt AC adapter, uh, but again, this is a, an optional device. A set of these batteries will allow you to print uh, about 100 uh, Instax photos uh, before you actually have to start and replace that. Okay, so let's take a look at the, uh, the printer itself. As you can see, it has a nice gloss white finish to it, and, uh, you know, it's a very simple printer. Again, just going around, you can see there's the on and off switch there. You got the slot where the film would be ejected from. Uh, you got little LED indicators telling you how much uh, prints are, there, are in it. You got the battery indicator. On one side, there's really not much. On the opposite side, you have the reprint button as well as the uh, AC adapter connector. And it uses a 5 volt adapter that uh, if you had an older Fuji camera, it's the same adapter that would work and operate this printer, okay? And on the back of the printer, of course, you got the eject uh, button here for the film, and this is where you would actually insert the film to it. Now, this device is not a camera, it is a printer, so you can't take photos directly from it. There is no memory card slot. In order to connect to this device, uh, you use uh, your smart device um, and connect wirelessly to the printer itself. And the printer itself, of course, again, supports Wi-Fi and it supports up to about eight different connections. So you can have uh, family, friends all connect uh, to the printer at the same time and start making prints, okay? Let's just uh, uh, insert the batteries. This is the battery uh, cover here and you would insert it following the, the directionals, uh, direction that's indicated. And then just insert it back in and that's one. The next, of course, is the film itself. So let's just I'm gonna show you how to insert the film in. Uh, when you, the package doesn't include any film, and of course, uh, if you um, are looking to buy this printer, you definitely have to pick up a, a package of uh, Instax mini film. Uh, it's the same type of film that's used for your Instax camera if you have one. And the packages generally come in a, in a pack of uh, two packages of 10 exposure each. So if you open up the package, as you can see there, there's two, pack, two film packs of 10, and of course uh, it is uh, protected in sort of um, a metallic um, tin foil cover. So let's rip that open. And of course, uh, we're gonna insert that into the printer itself, okay? So uh, pretty simple uh, in terms of operation on the back of this camera. You open up the battery cover, and as you can see, you have access to the uh, slot where the film cartridge goes in. Don't worry about uh, the film being exposed because there is a cover here, as you can see. Uh, of course, 
When you insert the film cartridge, you want to match the uh, yellow tab to the yellow tab that's on the printer itself, okay? So uh, you really don't want to put it in any other way, and you definitely don't want to jam it incorrectly. So again, the yellow to the yellow is the right directions to uh, insert that film, as you can see. Uh, and then you just close the door. Now when you close the door, what's going to happen is the printer um, is going to eject that uh, black cover that I showed you earlier, and that's going to obviously make the film ready to be exposed uh, to the uh, light wand that's actually inside. So unlike an Instax camera that has a lens, and of course the shutter opens, light goes through the lens, and it gets exposed onto the Instax film, uh, this doesn't have that. And so what happens is when you transfer an image to the printer, it gets obviously converted and transferred to the film by ways of a light wand that moves up uh, down the printer and it, it really transfer the, uh, the, the image onto the film itself. The film of course uses chemistry, uh, silver highlight film with some dyes and as different light uh, um, you know, reaches the film itself, it releases the different colored dyes that are, that are in different layers and it and brings the dyes up to the front of the film and then producing sort of a color image from that. So again, that's really the operations of the Instax share printer.